Breaking news, guys. Vice President Kamala Harris tried getting out of the ABC debate with former President Donald Trump by pushing for this last minute rule change. But, well, ABC wasn't having it. Nope. Donald Trump called her out basically saying how it was her way of trying to pull a fast one because in reality, she just can't answer questions. But... Don't take my word for it. Let's hear it straight from our former president. They also want to change the rules. You know, the deal was we keep the same rules. Now all of a sudden they want to make a change in the rules because she can't answer questions. Why doesn't she do a couple of uh, question answers? Why doesn't she do something like I'm doing right now? She can't talk. We can't have another dummy as a president, okay? We cannot have a dummy. And the people from Vietnam agree with that. We agreed to the same rules. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I'd rather have it probably on, but the agreement was that it would be the same as it was last time. In that case, it was muted. Uh, I didn't like it the last time, but it worked out fine. I mean, ask Biden how it worked out. It was fine. And I think it should be the same. Now, you guys heard Trump. We cannot have another dummy as president. And did you all catch that Trump shade on Biden? He said, just ask Biden how it was last time. It was fine. <laughs> well, Biden is no more. And now they're putting Kamala Harris front and center. But I don't know if it's just me or what. But do you guys think that the strong black woman is a little bit played out? Don't get me wrong. I'm all for strong black women. But it's clear that the Democrats are trying to leverage this. Not in a good way. Now, I'm just saying, if she were really black, or maybe I should say, if she were really the strong black woman that she's projecting herself to be, then maybe she would do three debates instead of just one. But again, she's black only when it's beneficial. I mean, Donald Trump has debated and knocked out the GOP establishment, the Clintons and Biden. Plus, he willingly goes into the lion's den oftentimes for interviews. Just looking at facts here, guys. And the facts show that it really does seem like she's the one that's actually scared of facing Donald Trump in the media, not the other way around. You know what I'm saying? In fact, in the latest blow to the Kamala Harris campaign, the Trump team just uncovered a major conflict of interest. And this is with regard Kamala Harris in her preparation for this debate. Now, apparently she may be getting in bed with one of the biggest tech monopolies in the world. And that definitely does not bode well for a hypothetical Harris administration. Fox News's David Spon talks all about it with political expert Jeff Hosser in this clip. And the vice president has made it clear she's not a fan of large monopolies and what those monopolies do to the consumer. But as you mentioned, we are hearing uh, that she has employed the lead attorney who's representing Google in a massive lawsuit against the United States. Her name is Karen Dunn. She's a respected attorney in Washington, D.C. She worked for the Obama administration and has handled many high profile cases. In fact, she helped prepare then Senator Harris in 2020 for her debate against then VP Mike Pence. Now the New York Times, Bloomberg and Washington Post are report she's back helping the Harris campaign. One former DOJ official said to think of it this way. Kamala Harris is against monopolies, yet she's taking debate advice from the lead attorney for one of the largest in the country, Google. Here's the head of an agency that tracks ethics issues on both sides of the aisle. Watch. It's problematic that Karen Dunn has the ability to potentially get the next president of the country on the phone uh, on, at a moment's notice. And she might also be negotiating on behalf of Google with the Justice Department in a few months. Now, Fox News reached out to the Harris campaign about Dunn's reported debate prep gig. We did not hear back. We also reached out to Karen Dunn directly, have yet to hear back. One attorney told me the only ethics hurdle would now be for Dunn to tell Google that she was advising Harris. Google goes to trial against the U.S. in just a few weeks, presenting just another uh, question, because that's when the debate's going to be happening. That's when the trial kicks off. It's expected, though, to last many weeks. Dana. I mean, this is no less than Google, you guys. Vice President Kamala Harris may be putting herself in a very dangerous territory by asking the lawyer, most prominently known for her ties with the tech giant, to help her in her debate against Donald Trump. I mean, what does this say about her allegiances? Is she really working for the people or is she making connections with the deep state tech? Plus, Google has this massive case that they're facing. Could Kamala Harris be offering some kind of a tit for tat here? You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours kind of deal? I mean, seriously, guys, it's really a mess. And what we're here to do we're trying to uncover every important detail of it. All you guys got to do is sit there, sit tight. We're going to go ahead and dive right in. So yeah, let's talk about this last minute bid to change the debate rules coming from Vice President Kamala Harris. 
Basically, what you guys need to know is that even ABC News, which really couldn't be any farther left if they tried, has ultimately declined Harris's request to have wholly unmuted microphones during the September 10th debate with former President Donald Trump. Now, apparently, this was a Democratic attempt to lay a trap for our Republican nominee. And what Republicans are saying now is bravo ABC. It's about time that somebody from mainstream media stood up to Harris and called her bluff. Because the thing is, both camps already agreed to similar rules as those for Donald Trump's June 27th CNN debate against President Biden, including no audience, no pre-written notes or props and unmuted mics when a candidate is not speaking. Trump and Harris will be standing on stage and will only be allowed to have a pen and a pad paper and a bottle of water. See who's really prepared. According to a top Trump ally, at this point, Team Harris is going to be taking an L when they finally accept as the debate rules are not changing. Or they'll be taking an even bigger L if they back out of the debate entirely because the Dana Bash CNN interview goes poorly. But seriously, you guys, I think Kamala Harris just wants to kind of get out of the debate. I honestly would not be surprised if we hear her suddenly back out because ABC didn't give in to her request. I mean, her record is just indefensible at this point, and she would probably rather just let mainstream media, or as my uncle calls it, scummy media, just keep protecting her. You know what I mean, guys? I mean, just look at how Harris spokesperson Brian Fallon just tried turning it around on Trump. According to Fallon, Trump's handlers don't trust him to spar live with VP Harris and are asking ABC to ignore Donald Trump's comments and keep the mics muted or else they will back out of the debate for a third time. He even had the gall to say that they find the Trump team's stance to be weak. Can you believe this guy? Trump campaign senior advisor Jason Miller quickly clapped back, basically saying what a lot of people are thinking right now, that the Harris folks are just completely full of it and everything was agreed to and it was already set last week. According to Miller, this is the Harris team trying to distract and come up with something shiny to move away from the fact that she's not doing any interviews. It's true, isn't it? I mean, she just finished her CNN interview with Dana Bash, but the whole thing was pre-taped and edited to take God knows what out. Plus, she even had her running mate Tim Waltz there like a meat shield against any real critics. And did you guys notice how they were seated? You had Kamala Harris not directly facing the interviewer. It was almost like Tim Waltz was the one being interviewed, not Kamala Harris. Now, I think that the reason why Kamala Harris was not facing Dana Bash was so that she could face a teleprompter that they didn't want us to know about. What do y'all think on that? Now, according to former President Donald Trump, the truth is they're trying to get out of it because she doesn't want to debate. He said that Kamala Harris is not a good debater, she's not a smart person, and she just doesn't want to debate. Trump's advisor, Jason Miller, chimed in as well, saying enough with the games. Both sides agreed to no changes to the agreed upon rules. So for Miller, if Kamala Harris isn't smart enough to repeat the messaging points that her handlers want her to memorize, that's their problem. Plus, he called out what seems to be a pattern for the Harris campaign. They won't allow Harris to do interviews. They won't allow her to do press conferences. And now they won't give her a cheat sheet for the debate. Miller's guess, they're looking for a way to get out of any debate with President Donald Trump. But really, guys, the bottom line here is that there's just no way Harris is ready to be commander in chief. I mean, why else would she wait so long before sitting down for a media interview since tagging in for Biden as the Democratic presidential nominee? Not to mention, she's also declined to confirm two other proposed debates with Donald Trump that were supposed to be hosted by Fox News and NBC News. Now, hey guys, just a quick reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to get more hard hitting content like this, straight to your phone, straight to your computer, straight to your TV. And we're not done with this one yet, guys. So don't go away. In fact, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Still on the topic of the Harris-Trump debate, Donald Trump's campaign is calling out a political conflict of interest in the Harris debate prep team. Now, I showed you guys the clip earlier, but we're going to get into the nitty gritty right now. So it turns out Karen Karen Dunn, I know, Karen, right, who was a part of the team that's prepping Vice President Kamala Harris for the September 10th showdown, is simultaneously working with Google's lead defense attorney in the Biden-Harris administration's lawsuit against the tech giant. Conflict of interest, huh? Well, I'm not exactly surprised considering how Kamala Harris has basically been flip-flopping all over the place. The question is, could this be a sign of a backdoor deal between the vice president and the tech giant? Because see guys, this isn't just any random lawsuit that we're talking about. The lawsuit, the United States versus Google LLC, is the Biden-Harris administration's antitrust 
lawsuit targeting Google's digital advertising practices. But the trial is set to begin September 9th, a day before the first presidential debate. Now, Dunn is even listed in the lawsuit as the lead attorney for Google. So how is Harris supposed to stand by this case when the lead attorney is the one that's coaching her for the debate against former President Donald Trump? Simple answer, she won't. As Trump campaign senior advisor Tim Murtaugh put it, Kamala Harris will never stand up to big tech. I mean, just think about how outrageous it is. Their administration is suing Google, but Harris is taking political advice from the defendant's lawyer. Then again, according to Murtaugh, it's not surprising because big tech and the Biden-Harris White House have been conspiring to censor and ultimately trample the rights of law-abiding citizens since they gained power. But what really gets me this time around is the fact that they don't even try to hide their cozy relationship. It's all been reported by the media, but many critics agree. It's disgusting and it's dangerous. And with this out in the open, I'm starting to see why Google recently came under scrutiny following the assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. Now, if you guys remember, Google's autocomplete search results, they did not initially register the July 13th assassination attempt against Trump. Google even admitted that it initially blocked and eliminated search prompts for the assassination attempt against Trump and tried to pass it off by saying that they were prohibited by design and part of the company's policy to prevent search results for hypothetical political violence against current figures. I smell some bull. Anybody else? Y'all smell that? I mean, just listen to this. We do not allow predictions that can be interpreted as accusations against individuals or groups of serious malevolent acts where there is a lack of well-established or expert supporting evidence. Uh, what are they talking about predictions? Trump was actually in real life shot in the ear by a would-be assassin, Thomas Matthew Crooks, who definitely was not aiming just for an ear. We're not talking about hypotheticals here, guys. This was a bona fide assassination attempt on a former president who's also a prominent presidential nominee who's leading in the polls. Seriously, you can do better, Google. I know you can. With all these pre-debate shenanigans, you just gotta wonder what Kamala Harris is gonna try next. Now, one thing's for sure, we're gonna be keeping a very close eye on things. As Democratic strategy just James Carville put it, there's nothing more that America likes than a train wreck. And they saw that one on June 27th with Biden versus Donald Trump. So they're going to tune in in hopes to see maybe another train wreck. People just love train wrecks. So what do you guys think? Will Harris follow in the footsteps of her predecessor and show America just what a train wreck she is? Drop a quick yes or no in the comments. And if you guys want more content like this, definitely hit the like button for the video, subscribe to the channel. And also I got another video for you guys right here, an expose on Kamala Harris getting called out by ABC yet again for what she tried to pull in the DNC. Seriously, guys, you gotta watch that one. Click on my channel, go to the videos and check it out. And hey, don't be a stranger, right? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.